Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Ravenport here on Farming Simulator 19. We have just woke up from our uh, trailer. If you guys missed the first episode, I recommend you go back and watch that to see what this is and why it's here. Well everybody, so it is that time again. Myself and Insta Gaming have teamed up once again to give you guys a chance to win a game for absolutely nothing. Once again, all you have to do is follow the link in the description box down below where it will say competition. Head over to this website here, make sure it says the Simulate Gaming logo so you know it's the correct one. Go to any game you want, for example. We can go ahead and do Hitman. Click Let's Go, and that is literally it. It will say thanks for participating. That is you done. If you want to get extra entries for free, all you have to do is to follow these lists down here. Follow Instant Gaming on Instagram, you get an extra entry. Myself on Twitter, myself on Instagram, you get extra entries. Or so you can get the game of your choosing. Once again, this is all completely free. This is just a way of me saying thank you back to you guys for supporting me. So that being said, one thing's left to say is good luck. Um, so we got a couple of jobs to do today, and um, we've got some random stuff, it's not really field work that we're doing today, it's more odd jobs, of course, if you guys missed episode number one, want to go back and watch that, because this is mainly animals, but, um, today we want to go ahead and, first we've got to sell the grain, I don't actually have anywhere to sell the grain just yet, so we need to go ahead and sell that straight from the trailer, meanwhile, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the combine up here because I did off camera so I didn't bore you guys too much go and rent a couple pieces of equipment so we've got a baler here so we can bale that field just there so we can get some straw bales for our cows and horses which we don't have just yet we will be getting one of them in this video and um, so we've got the normal header still here just in case it turns out that we need it and we also have the corn header now on the front of this this is rented we don't own any of this here all we own so far is the trailer that we saw a second ago with the case. Now, this ladder's not come down, which is a bit annoying, but we can go ahead and jump into it either way. Let's get the head tracking reset and turned on. So, there we go. That's now turned on. So, we're not going to be doing the corn harvest. Do not worry. We are going to be putting this out on a hired worker, first of all. Let's zoom the camera out a little bit. No, that's the wrong button simulate. Well done, sir. So, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done the video. Um, I've actually been in the process of changing jobs. I did put a notification out on YouTube and Facebook if you guys didn't see that. Once again, I'd apologize, but I've now got a new job, which I start next week. So, I've been selling all the assets for my old ones. So, I've sold my van. You guys know I had a van. Um, right, we'll get you set off a second there. And hopefully, we do pretty well. So, that's going to be the corn. Uh, so it's like sunflowers. Sorry, not corn. I keep saying corn. Because we had the corn head up, it's not, it's sunflowers, so... My bad. Right, let's tab into the case first. We need to give this thing a clean. So much we've got £26,000 currently. So we're going to be taking out a loan real quick. Because we want to buy some things. So let's go to the money section here. We're going to go borrow... How much have we borrowed so far? We've borrowed £1.2 so far. Dang. 250 sorry. Um... Let's just take this up to 100. 100k should be enough for what I need. So we're going to have to pay that back, obviously. Um, my microphone might be a bit close there. So we're going to be buying a couple of things today. I've actually been looking on some mod sites. I usually avoid dodgy mod sites, but there's just more stuff out currently for what I needed. So we're going to be buying this. This is a Quonset shed. And we're going to plop it up here somewhere there let's put it there so we now have a shed because we don't have anywhere to store anything just yet so that's going to be for our grain and also our vehicles and one more thing that we need is is it under miscellaneous fuel that one there i don't recommend that one if you see it on all mod websites avoid that one it looks terrible this one however is pretty darn good so we're gonna go ahead and get this one uh, where should we put it we'll put it there for a minute because then we can come down and collect it fuel on the way so this one here is much better out of the two um, so that is now that done. We've got £34,000 left. Um, so we're going to be selling the grain as well. So where's the best place to sell the grain, actually? Okay, so the ranch is the best place to sell the grain by the look of it. So we're going to be taking the off-road way. There is a little dirt path that goes up there. Um, so I do have head tracking. I've still not got it dialed in. I want to make it a little bit less sensitive so you guys don't get a bit motion sickness watching me play. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and head up here. Uh, we'll head to the ranch. We'll sell this grain. We need to go to the store after that because I need to get a front loader console put on this tractor so we can get the bales after. Then we need to do some baling. But first, um, we need to buy something in between. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start heading up towards the ranch. I'll see you guys in just a second. Right, currently, so we are now just approaching the ranch. We're going to go ahead and indicate up this little uh, pathway. I really like this map. Uh, I know I don't usually play American maps on the channel, but Ravenport is such a good map. This is probably my favourite map from Giants. If you guys don't know, my favourite map up until now has been Hagenstead from uh, FS13. Favourite Giants map was Hagenstead from FS13. But I think Ravenport may have taken the lead, you know. This is such an amazing map. But anyway, 
Uh, I digress. Let's go ahead and sell this grain right here. If I can work out how to actually unload this thing with the side panel. I think it's this one? Nope. Okay, that's the indicator. I don't think there's a button mapped out for that just yet. I think I may have messed everything up, so I'm going to have to remap that one, but so much money we get from this. Only £1,938. That is a whole field as well, which is a bit worrying. Um, hopefully we get some more from the sunflowers, so that was a little bit less than I was expecting, if I'm being honest. Of course, I'm used to filling up big trailers, but, you know, we'll, we'll progress. This is still the start of the Let's Play, so we will hopefully get more and more as time goes on. But let's head down to the store, because like I, I need to get a front loader console put on the front of this. Let's head out of here. Okay. Uh, and yeah, front loader put on this. We also we're probably gonna end up leaving our trailer there because we need to pick up a different kind of trailer. Spoiler alert. Um, so yeah, let's head down to the store and see you guys down there. Right, okay, so we are now just approaching the store as you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and, like I said, park this up, this trailer, here for now. Um, so hopefully we can come back to this later on. Let's go ahead and get that disconnected. I like watching the. Uh, oh, that's the wrong button. I like watching the um, the cables and stuff and the pipes. Disconnect, so we'll go ahead and do that. Like so. Cool. So, like I said, we're going to be renting another trailer, so let's go to. Um, actually, no, first of all, first of all, let's take this around the back because we need to get the front loader. Make sure we've got enough money for the front loader. And also, uh, we're going to be buying a, a bale spike, of course, because we're going to be picking up bales. Unfortunately, it's round bales. I prefer square, uh, square bales, as you know. But I'm trying to save money where I can, basically. So, let's go ahead and plop ourselves up to here, which is why I'm buying this front loader actually instead of renting one because we just will have it so we don't have to do it in the future. Um, plus all the dedicated front loaders like Teddy stuff are pretty expensive. Let's go into the trigger. Um, let's do that. Ah, we need to actually repair the vehicle which is going to cost us $850. We'll do that. That's now condition full. We'll customize this. We'll put the front loader attacher on there, which is going to cost us £1,500. Pretty much the harvest just paid for that. Um, let's go to front loaders. We'll get the FZ30. I think it's a good one. We'll buy that. It's going to cost us five grand. Dang, it was more than I thought it'd be. And also, like I said, the bail spike as well. So that's actually made us a little bit poorer than I was expecting. So we're going to go to this. We're going to get a horse box. We're going to rent this. We don't need one. $1,200 isn't too bad. And we need to buy a horse. So yeah, that's the first thing we're doing. We're going to get a horse. And because I really like the idea of having stuff to do on the side. So we can, when we've got nothing to do, we can... Uh, is this fiberglass inside? I think it is. I think this is fiberglass inside here. Um... It's amazing the amount of detail the textures have got these now. Uh, but anyway, as like I said, so when we've got nothing to do, it would be cool just to train our horse, take out for a run, uh, all that stuff. But so the landy kid was telling me that he bought the horse for five grand, and his is now worth like 15 grand. So yeah, good way of making profit. You just need to make sure you uh, stay up on top of it. In fact, I forgot about the uh, the front loader. Let's get that first of all. Right. I should have changed the color of that, actually. I only rented it, though, so it doesn't matter too much. But I forgot you could actually change the color of that. Let's get that rotated around like so. Let's try and slide ourselves into here. There we go. Uh, connect that. Reverse this up. Get the actual bell spike connected up. If I can. Uh, there we go, we got it. Cool, so that's now that connected. Let's get the horse box. We'll head up to the animal ranch and that should be the last place we have to drive today. Should be in the keyword. Knowing me, I've forgotten something. Um, let's just get that. This is now the horse bot connected. Now, usually I'd use the pickup for this, but we don't own a pickup, so the tractor will do fine. Um, I know there's going to be a couple of comments saying you wouldn't use a horse box for the tractor. I mean, if all you had on your farm was a tractor, I'm pretty sure you would. Right, let's get indicated out of here. Do we still have our beacons on? We do. Right, so I'm going to head to the uh, animal dealer. We'll pick ourselves up a horse, and uh, we'll take it to our little animal yard. So if you missed episode number one, you're actually going to get to see the animal yard in a second. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Right, so we're now at the uh, the animal dealer here. I'm going to head around the back to the load-up site. So, a little bit weird that we're getting a horse from a place that sells cattle. But we won't look into that too much. It would be cool if you get the horses from the ranch. But I'm looking into this way too much. It's near game. Right, so here is the loading area where this sort of ramp is. So we're not going to be using it today. We're going to go ahead and just use it in the road here. So let's go and unfold the back of this. So like I said, actually, how much money have we got? 
Shall we get two horses? No, 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 because each one requires 10 minutes real life of it running a day to progress. So I'm going to get one horse for now. And let's go to R. Let's head down to horses. There they go. So I like the Pinto, which is a type of horse. Um, also the Dunn's pretty nice. Yeah, we'll get the pin I'm going to get the Pinto for now. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Confirm that's going to be five grand. So that now should be in the back of there he is. Or she. I didn't see if it was a boy or girl. We'll find out. We'll have to rename her when we get to the uh, when we get to the animal yard. So yeah, like I said, if you did miss episode number one, we built our own animal yard down near the store because I wanted to save the main yard where we're based with the corn and stuff, with the field sorry, for like arable based farming. So we put all our animals somewhere else. So we bought a bit of land just behind the store. Which is pretty flat. It's a pretty good place, actually. Um, that's actually credit to Landy Kid that I found that. He told me about that place, so... I don't have to de uh, give up any fields that we own, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, let's head... I'm going to call him Pinto for now. He's not called Pinto. Pinto's the type of horse that he is. I haven't named him just yet. So, we'll head back to the animal yard with him. Get him unloaded. He doesn't have any food or water just yet, so that's something we've got to look into. It'll probably episode number three we look into that. Because we need to get the bailing done and also unload... I'm on the wrong side of the road here. And also unload the sunflowers because that has finished harvesting. We got a notification during the jump cut that the hard work had finished harvesting the sunflowers. So yeah, let's head down to there. One more time. It should be that we got one more jump cut after this. So two more jump cuts and then uh, we'll actually get on some proper field work. So back a sec. All right, so here we are. So just past the restaurant here in case you guys wanted to copy and do the same land. Um, it's a nice bit of flat land, like I said, so just past here we've got the old sawmill, which is no longer in use. And we also have the old animal dealer slash cow cattle cell place, which is there, which no longer gets used. And this is the road I built in episode number one, if you guys saw episode number one. So, still looking pretty fresh. It's not actually set and turned to colour or anything just yet, so that's just good. Um, so let's head over here. We'll get this unloaded first of all. Um, we're going to try and do this as realistically as I can. So let's jump out real quick. Hopefully uh, the horse is still right back there. Get the gate open which I've not actually uh, mapped out just yet unfortunately. So let's jump back into the tractor. Try and reverse it here. Try being the keyword because uh, I'm not very good at reversing with a trailer. So we'll give it a go. Back up here. Start turning. Oh, I keep thinking i got drive control turned on. So I keep pressing the accelerator to go backwards, thinking we're in reverse gear. Then remember, we don't actually have gears, so the brake pedal is go backwards, and the accelerator is obviously go forwards. So it's taking me a while to adjust to that. Let's get that reversed into here, which we are now good. So let's go ahead and unload, sorry, unfold the back of that. We'll jump out, and we'll unload Pinto, which he's, I think he's called Echo, actually. Was he called Echo or Eco? And we'll find out. So there he is, running around the field. Before we go ahead and see to him, let's go ahead and get back into here. We'll get this folded up. We'll pull it out. Like so. And we'll get the gate closed, finally. But right, we'll actually go in and have a look at him. So this is Pinto, of course. Uh, um, he's not called Pinto. I haven't named him just yet. The game's called him Echo. I'm going to rename him. How do I do that, actually? No idea what to call him. I've called him Scally. That's the first word that popped into my head. So there's our horse, Scally, from now on. Um, as you saw the stats there, actually, a second ago, he is only 5%. But he needs water, straw, oats, and hay, which, like I said, we'll deal with that in episode number three. But for now, we are done here. So let's go ahead and jump back in to the case. We can go ahead and return the trailer. I'm going to get our grain trailer that we left at the store. Take this one back. We'll get the grain trailer. Take it down. And that should be the last jump cut. Right, okay, so we are now back at our... I'm not going to call it the farm. This is more of a wasteland. We're back at what will be our farm. We're back at the wasteland for now. So we're going to go ahead, head up to the uh, combine. As you can see, he has actually finished, but he seems to have missed a pass. He's actually missed quite a lot. Let's go ahead and finish what he's missed a second. So, wow. We have got, like, just under half of a tank of this from, uh, <laughs> from the whole field, which is a bit weird. Not weird, but... It's not going to be very useful, unfortunately. So I might just put this in storage. I'm not sure. We haven't got anywhere to store it. That's the problem. Um, that's annoying. All right, so he's actually missed some here. So we're going to quickly finish up what he's missed. Um, it's not going to take too long. Now, I have seen some people put these fields into one, which I can see why they've done it. 
I'm still debating whether I want to do it personally. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you think I should or not. Uh, I pushed the wrong button then. I was meant to press the green one, I pushed the blue one. Um, let me know if you think I should put these two fields into one or whether I should keep them separately. Um, I'm still in two minds at the moment. I mean, I don't know if there's a difference between doing that or just planting the same crop in both fields. That technically will be like one field, it's just uh, be divided by a road. Um, why is this bit here not harvesting? What even is going on here? Just come on, stop! What? Why would it stop? Hello? Game? That was weird. I was pressing the brake and it was going backwards. I was trying to push forward and it wouldn't stop. That was weird. Um, but yeah, we should be harvesting this now. Cool. So we are now done. Let's get the pipe out. I do not know what the button is on the side panel at the moment, so I'm not going to bother trying. We still didn't get that bit of corn out. It won't let me harvest it for some reason, so no idea what's wrong with that. Right, let's park up next to the... We're not going to hit the front load, are we? No, we've cleared it. Good, good, good. Ooh, I've overshot. Something's wrong with the brakes on this thing. It might be my pedals, to be fair. I might need to adjust the brake sensitivity a little bit. Let's unload that. So, before we take this thing... That was the wrong button. Something like that. Before we take this thing back, how far gone has this growing? So still not ready yet. I don't really want to send the combine back and then re uh, lease it again, which is why I kept that header there. So hopefully this grows pretty soon. It's only 11.38 currently in game, so I'm hoping this grows by the end of the day. Or else come midnight, we're going to have to pay for the harvester again, which is going to be very annoying. Uh, we still got no weeds. We did actually weed this on the live stream, which is why you didn't see it in one of the episodes. But yeah, let's go ahead and turn this all off for now. Um, get into here, turn that off. We'll get it folded away. What is the fold button? I don't really know. Right, we'll get the actual harvester folded up here. I said we'll get the harvester folded up here. Why wouldn't it fold? I don't know. The combine's a bit broken at the moment. So we have now finished with this. I'm not going to bother selling this just yet. So with that little uh, uh, extra bit that we did, it took us to about three quarters of a way full, um, which is better than nothing. It's still a little bit rubbish, but it will do. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the trailer. In fact, just in case it rains, should we put it in our new shed? We're going to leave it in the trailer, but we'll put the trailer in the shed. I think that's going to be a good thing to do. Um, so we should... I haven't actually been in here just yet. Let's get this door open here. So here's our new shed that we bought at the start of the video. Pretty nice. Um, so everything, this could be like our main hub, basically. So we'll get into here, we're going to park it in. Like I said, we're leaving it in the trailer. We'll put it in the trailer in here just in case it rains or something like that, or wind, or... Every little helps. Let's get it reversed into here. Uh, I'm not worried too much about where we park it just yet. No, I do not have drive control. Keep forgetting. Right, let's go in like that. Cool, that should do her. Let's get that disconnected. We'll drive out of here and we should be done with that. So now all we have to do is the bailing. So how much passes have we got there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About 11. Don't bother to count. About 11. Right, so we get this linked up. Hopefully we've got enough power. We should do. Get that. That's the wrong button. Get that hooked up. We will get the baler unfolded like so. Get it booted up. You can hear the revs on the tractor there really starting to kick in now. Right, so I'm not going to bore you guys. I'm pretty sure you've seen hundreds of YouTubers. Oh, hang on. Bailing this, probably this exact field. So what I'm going to do is just time lapse this. So it should take literally a couple of seconds. So sit back, enjoy, and uh, I'll see you guys when this is finished. Uh, which one's drop? Green. There we go. Take me to Neverland. Right, 
Right, Curious, we have now finished bailing. A little bit annoying. We don't have enough to finish uh, one more bale, and this is a rented baler. So, like I said, a little bit annoying because we're pretty much losing now 2,185 litres of straw. So I probably should have left it, but obviously I didn't know that at the time. Right, so, let's get this disconnected first of all, like so. Um, maybe we can find a contract or something that requires bailing. I don't know just yet. We'll, we'll soon find out. But we now have some bales that we can now give to our cows and uh, one horse which i forgot what we called it a scally wasn't it <laughs> i've literally forgot already right let's get this lower down like so so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it you guys don't want to see me putting these away so what i'm gonna do just so you know for next time i'm picking them up one at a time i'm not gonna bother trying to pick two up it just ends up getting pretty messy um oh there's a big bump there so, um, I'm going to go ahead and park these all the way, or put these all the way, not park them away, you don't park bales. I'm going to put these all the way in here in the corner. Hopefully they stay dry and stuff. Um, but thank you very much for joining me in this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please slap a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Make sure you enter the competition as well if it's still open by the time you watch this. Um, once again, the link in the description box down below. I've been Simulate Gaming. Hit subscribe to see more from myself, and I'll see you in the next one.